down here working in uh, Ludlow. I love Ludlow. I just bought this house. We just started on it Monday. We've already got the outside painted roofs getting put on Tuesday. But I want you to look what I had to do. Of course, this guy living right here, he's not a bad guy. He moved his car. But these assholes right here in this little house beside me in this little blue car. And that's his wife's little red car. Anyway, when we first got here, he wanted to let me know I better not park in front of his house right here. And I said, that's fine, I won't. I just need to park in front of my house. And we'll be out of here in about two and a half weeks and we won't buy you and I'll make your house worth more money if you own it. He says, well, I own it. I said, well, there you go. I just made your house worth more money because this house was in bad shape. But anyway, what does he do? He decides when we get ready to start working to back his little car up right here in front of my house and then put his wife's little red car in front of my house. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? So and I asked them if they move and they said no. So they don't know that I'm good friends with the chief of police in Ludlow who actually runs the city. <laughs> so what did they do? They just posted up signs for me. And what did he do this morning? He just decided he was going to leave it here anyway. Didn't care. Well, guess what? You don't see him sitting there now, do you? Mm. That's the kind of shit you got to go through. Every house I buy, it's shit like this. Or some asshole neighbor. Then, then, his, then his rogue buddy over here, not this big house. I think, I'm going to buy this house, too. It's across the street. It's for sale. I already put a bid in. I'm going to find out who owns this one I'm going to buy. But this little jerk off over here, in this little gray house right here with the red door, smart off to me the other day. I guess they probably sat in circle jerk. This guy and that guy probably sat around on top of each other, 69 or whatever they do. I don't know what they do. But anyway, that's the kind of shit you got to deal with. You're down here trying to clean up all this shit for everybody. Of course, the city loves you. You're making them more money. You know, but you just got to be careful who you F with. So I'm the type of guy that'll just go to the extreme. I'll lose money to prove a point. You know, if this little house is going to be cute, I'm not going to say what street it's on, but it's a big-ass house. It goes all the way back, get a new roof, everything's new, new HVAC. It's nice. we got the yard all cleaned up. We keep our mess cleaned up. So I just think it's comical. Every house I go to, you always got these jerk-offs that want to screw with you. And I was nice to him the very first day. I knocked on the door and said, hey, we bought this house. I'm going to clean it up. But don't you park in front of my house. Oh, well, okay, no problem, we won't. But I could, it's a public street. You can park anywhere you want to park on this street. So, I just thought I would uh, let you see how funny the shit I gotta deal with. I bet when he goes to bed at night, now they can't park here, he thinks about me in my country accent. You know what? When I said, fuck you, huh? He'll remember that, won't he? Uh, anyway, I thought I'd give a little laugh today. You can't, if you can't beat them, just fuck them. You know, that's, this is going to be a nice little house too. I have, I have about four or five on the street. This guy that was a real bad asshole too.